YouTube is a fucking crazy place. You gotta be so good that they can't ignore you, especially the ones that ain't done shit for you. Yeah, you know exactly what I mean. They stab you in the back and then they ask why you're bleeding. I don't trust words. I trust actions. I don't care what you heard. I'm not slacking. So, a bunch of my subscribers in the last couple weeks have sent me requests to watch this uh, YouTube channel, Joey's World Tour. I had no idea what the fuck they were talking about. So this morning, I went and watched a few of Joey's World Tour's videos. Holy fuck. Uh, you know, I'm wondering if it, people are wanting me to like really just dog on Joey. I'm not going to. I feel bad as fuck for that motherfucker. Uh, I don't know what is in his head that... You know, maybe he needs the money, but he's got like 200,000 subscribers. And what this dude does, in case you're not familiar with it, he goes around to drive through the drive through basically to nasty ass food place to nasty ass food place and shoves his face full of the most unhealthy shit he can fucking find, basically. And he's funny in his descriptions and he's a little weird. And I mean, I'm nobody calling you weird, Joey, because I'm a fucking weird ass motherfucker myself. So don't take that as an insult. I feel for you, though, Joey. I feel for this dude uh, because. He's got 200,000 subscribers that love his shit. They love watching him slowly fucking kill himself. YouTube's a fucked up place, man. I swear. Uh, this guy's like, we're watching this guy give himself diabetes as a spectator sport almost. That's what his subscribers are doing. Uh, I don't think his subscribers are going to be happy until they actually have, you know, Joey's World Tour. Joey stops at Sonic. Then Joey goes, gets his legs amputated due to diabetes. Uh, I think that's what they're fucking waiting on. I mean, it's, it's morbid as fuck, but... Somebody needs to step the fuck in for this poor guy because his subscribers encouraging him to do shit like this when the dude is already probably hundreds of pounds overweight. Like, I, you can only see him from the chest up, but just from the chest up, I bet you he's 150 to 200 pounds over fucking weight. Uh, for real. And that's not me dicking on the guy. That's me being like, God damn, how concerning is it that we live in a fucking society that this morbidly obese dude is being encouraged to shove his face full of high fat, high sugar, high sodium shit I mean, is somebody going to want him to do a live thing and have a fucking coronary, you know, on fucking film? You fucking sick-ass motherfuckers that watch him, that encourage him? You know, I, I'm i just fucking disgusted by you fucking people that are encouraging him to fucking eat like this. I, I have nothing bad to say about Joey. I think Joey's trying to make a fucking living as an obese man in America. And I think he's doing it. By leaning into the obese stereotypes and being a little fucking kooky while he fucking does it. So, Joey, do your fucking thing. If that's what you want to do, it's your fucking life. But I'm letting you know right now, you're about a couple years away from it being a miserable fucking existence, if it's not already. I have a hard time believing that anybody that has that much extra weight on them is truly fucking happy. Period. Because that can't be comfortable. It can't be good for you. You've got to just feel like shit on a fucking daily basis. I feel for you, fucking dude. I do. And I tell you this right now. Joey, if you'd ever want to make a fucking change, if you ever would, my email is below if you watch this. Email me and I will fucking help you. I'll actually fucking help you. And I know most of his subscribers are now going, oh shit, we, you know, what would happen if Joey lost a whole bunch of weight and wouldn't eat like this? We wouldn't be entertained by watching somebody slowly fucking commit suicide via food. But Joey, I swear, I'll fucking help you. Personally, I will fucking help you. If you want to email me below, you fucking let me know, and I'll fucking do whatever I fucking can to help you regain your fucking life away from this fucking ridiculousness it is. Because, uh, very honestly, dude, you're on your way to serious-ass medical problems if you keep doing what you're fucking doing. That's disgusting. And I'm not calling you disgusting, Joey, but it's disgusting that your subscribers encourage you to treat yourself that fucking poorly. It really fucking is. And I, you know, the, the, everybody's like, well, everybody should accept everybody for everybody else. The whole, the whole, the whole thing, you know, the whole fat is beautiful thing. No, uh, everybody should be nice to everybody. Okay. Everybody should be, you know, uh, respectful of everybody. Okay. I personally think everybody should fucking be realistic with everybody too. If somebody's 150 pounds overweight, they're not big fucking boned. They're just over fucking weight. And we should do something as a society to help it out because it's costly and it's horrible and they get fucking ridiculed. It's fucking horrible. We should help each other do this shit. We shouldn't just encourage... I understand where 
Sometimes it goes too far where people pick on people that are overweight and they say nasty fucking things about them. Uh, that really is spawned out of them either self-loathing themselves or them wanting to actually in some way help that person because they're trying to, you know, when you're young, you realize that ridicule is a way of changing social behavior. Uh, but to encourage shit like this on this dude's channel is just fucking disgusting to me. It's going to, this guy, this guy is killing himself on, on, on YouTube. He's slowly fucking killing himself on YouTube. You know, I mean, I, I don't, I don't get it. Like his fans are like, Oh, Joey, oh, it's all so great. He's fucking killing himself for real. I mean, and you, his, his subscribers are just fucking eating this shit up. They're eating it up. Like he eats up KFC. It's fucking ridiculous, you know? And before any of his subscribers come on here and start giving a nasty fucking comment down here to I'm being mean to him or whatever, let's realize that I'm the one that's trying to convince Joey to change his fucking lifestyle, that it's offering fucking nutritional help, offering whatever the fuck I can do to help Joey out. And you're the motherfuckers that are trying to encourage him to fucking have a coronary. You're the motherfuckers that are encouraging him to eat so much fat that his arteries are clogging in front of your very fucking eyes. You people are fucking disgusting. I can't stand motherfuckers like you. If you're a fan of his and you ever encouraged him to eat more, fuck you. Fuck you. You pieces of fucking shit. That's disgusting. I feel so bad for this fucking dude. Joey, I, I'm telling you, and I mean this. Joey, hit me up. I'll fucking help you out. I'll, I'll put you on the, the right nutritionist. I'll do whatever I fucking can. But dude, if you don't want to die... You need to make a fucking change. And his subscribers, Joey's Joey's World Tour subscribers, unless you want to fucking kill this motherfucker, stop encouraging him to eat the fuck away he eats. You pieces of fucking shit. Disgusting ass motherfuckers. Fucking can't stand people like you. This is Alan Roberts. Every damn day fitness. Like and subscribe. Hit me up on Instagram at Every Damn Day Fitness. Hit me up on Twitter at Every Damn Day Fit. I'm also on Facebook at Every Damn Day Fitness. Joey. Listen to that little voice in your head that says, I need to make a fucking change or I'm going to fucking die because you're gonna. Please listen to it. God damn.